It is time for Seattle Sips, where we check out some amazing drinks in the area. And today we're learning how to make drinks with unique African spices. And for that, we are joined by author and mixologist Nick Mottone. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you always make the most incredible drinks. Yes. I want to know how you kind of encountered these spices and what's your inspiration behind this drink? Uh, so there's a couple of inspirations. Yeah. I'd go back to, uh, back in time to a great chef in New York, with Red Rooster, uh, Marcus Samuelson, mm -hmm. who... Uh, Ethiopian born, he works with a lot of these type of spices out there, and he posted a recipe on Berber spice, which I fell in love with, made a, made a variation on my own, and mm -hmm. just have been using it ever since. And then about six or eight months ago, I was in New York, another up and coming chef, Kwame Anwache, has a restaurant called Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Amazing, if you ever get a chance to try that. And he uses a lot of these spices in, in sort of African spices, Caribbean touch, U.S. sensibility. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. And so, uh, bucket list trip this August, my, uh, my wife and son and I went to Africa. Oh, wow. Uh, safari. Uh, and the last couple of days, we did a uh, spice tour in, in uh, Zanzibar. Oh, nice. cool. A little, you know, after two weeks of safari, you need a little beach time. And it of was course. really... <laughs> absolutely inspiring yeah. and I came back I was like okay these are amazing and I have all this stuff anyway and yeah. I, can, I can do stuff with it so that led me to this and when I started looking around you say like well we have a couple of Ethiopian restaurants here in Seattle mm -hmm. I've got a food truck on Mercer Island that does <clears> these great um, African dishes dosas and things like that mm -hmm. and then couple it with this burgeoning trends I said this is coming up and yeah. I think people are using this more and more now and uh, so it just it became exciting so I started put on my mad scientist chemist hat and here we are today. <laughs> so what is it called and, and how can we make this drink? Okay, so this is called the Sundowner Sunset. All right, uh, I'm sorry, the Serengeti Sundowner, forgive me. Uh, Sundowner is sort of a, a five o'clock cocktail. You get off the safari and they give you a drink nice. and it's really, really uh -huh. great. So we're gonna start, let me do this real quick. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a couple of measures of rum here. And already winning. Already winning, <laughs> we love rum, right? Beautiful. We'll do a little bit of a uh, spiced syrup that I made. I'm going to talk about that in Ooh. one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, some lime juice. Oops. Nice. And one of my favorite cordials, Canton Ginger Liqueur. That's a fun bottle. It's a fun bottle. <laughs> and ginger. Even, and ginger. It works yeah, really well with these spices. So it's healthy. So what I put in this syrup, yes it is. <laughs> right? What I put in the syrup is basically all these here, you know, <gasps> Uh, green peppercorns, grains of paradise, nigella seeds, cinnamon, cardamom, uh, vanilla, and a little bit of coffee beans, plus some sugar and, and lemon. And you come up with this amazing spiced syrup here. So let me make That's that for you. Very Oop. cool. One more thing, because okay. this is one of the killer things here. We're gonna, okay. We're going to rim the glass. With chili oil. Chili oil. Ooh, and, whoa. And, Spicy, baby. And this spice here is one of my favorites. What I'm rolling this in is one mm -hmm. of my favorite. It's called Raz Al Hanout. And it is a really unique North African spice blend that includes rose petals, lavender, I know you like lavender, yeah. all sorts of other cardamom and cinnamon and saffron and all these great things, plus salt and sugar. So let me just give this a shake. All right. Yeah, now the thing that's interesting is that I've heard that a lot of these spices have certain benefits. What are some of the health benefits? All right, so, you know, you have um, sort of everyday spices like cinnamon, clove, nutmeg have these, um, both anti-inflammatory and, you know, help stop uh, bacterial infections and things like that mm -hmm. when used properly. Like cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon can actually act as a preservative. Um, I'd say one of my for favorite aspects. Yeah. Tell you first. Oh, okay. There's another one for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, one of my <laughs> favorites uh, is the anti-inflammatory properties of cayenne pepper and other hot oh, peppers no, like good. Basin. So all of these spice blends here have some form of a spicy pepper in there. Plus, you have the cardamom and you have the cloves and uh, ginger for digestive turmeric for digestive and wow. anti-inflammatory properties. So there's just so many benefits on all of these spices that just drink, uh, drink responsibly. I'll take Ooh. your word. Drink responsibly. Dr. Nick. <laughs> Mr. Nick Matone, cheers to travel Ooh. and cheers to creativity. Right. Thank yeah. you much. Cheers. Oh, this is so good. Yeah. Mm. Wow, so kipper. warming too. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's fun. It almost reminds me of like an apple cider type spice. It does. Spices. It does. That is mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. um, you've written books. Yes. I Where have. can people find your books and learn more of these drink recipes? I'd say there's uh, quite a number of bookstores around. Uh, book Larder here in Seattle mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. it. Uh, uh, some of the online booksellers, of course, Amazon, mm -hmm. uh, not Islander Books on Mercer Island. Uh, I'd say uh, you know they're they're all over at this point. So and tell us the name of the uh, books too. So we have uh, uh, Raising the Bar, which was my first one. 
one, uh -huh. Holiday Cocktails, which came out in 2018, um, Summer Cocktails came out in 19, and Classic Cocktails, which came out in 2020, Good all before that. So, yeah. so we're working on a whole bunch of, uh, hopefully another one to come nice. and see what happens. <laughs> and quickly, I'm a sports guy. You have the official drink of the U.S. Open in New York now, yes. too? What's that oh. called? The Honey Deuce Cocktail, the wow. official drink okay. of the U.S. Tennis Yeah, Beautiful. And congratulations on an amazing trip, by the way. What was your favorite part? Uh, my absolute favorite moment was coming down the Serengeti Plain, and there was a mama lion Ooh. carrying her two- or three-day-old cub down to the plains to go wherever their den they're going to go to. Oh All the other animals in the whole plains would, like, spread out by a mile just to keep a, a clean pathway for her to go down. What it was incredible amazing. adventure. I, mean, I get tingles still thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, thank you so much for coming in. This My is pleasure. absolutely thank delicious. You. We posted some more info on your drink recipes and books on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live.